Hey guys, it's Jake Geek here, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we do have a player review around the newly upgraded 86 rated David Nunes. Now, I did do a player review recently on his 84, so we're going to find out today whether his 86 version is that much better than his 84. Spoilers, he definitely is, so stick around to find out why. Um, but yeah, let's get into him. So when I patched this guy, his 82 and his 84 rated, I did play 31 games with him. I only scored 20 goals and got 10 assists. So overall, I've played 21 games with him, scored 41 goals and got 20 assists, which is absolutely crazy. So yeah, as you can see, he's six foot one. He's got the high, high work rates. He's right foot. He's only got three test games and three star weak foot. But that's not too much of an issue just because of you know how you play Darwin Nunes in this game. Uh, so this is all post patch, obviously. He can play striker, centre forward, and left wing, which makes for you know a little bit better squad building, which is quite nice. He plays for Liverpool in the Premier League, obviously, and he's Uruguayan. So getting into his stats now, he's had a massive increase in pretty much all of his stats. So I've just got the comparison up. So from his 84, he's gone up, you know, two pace, two dribbling, three passing, three dribbling, and two physical, as well as two defending, but that doesn't really matter. A crazy upgrade, to be honest, as because his 84 was really good. So uh, yeah, this, this upgrade is definitely a substantial upgrade, especially to his dribbling department. But in the dribbling, he's gone up four reactions, which is really important. He's gone up three dribbling, uh, three composure. Yeah, his, his dribbling stats are incredible now. For, you know, a big guy like Darwin Nunes with that 92 strength. He's got insane pace, obviously 95 acceleration, and then his shooting stats are really nice as well. Uh, getting into his traits, he does only have finesse shot trait and speed dribbler, but they're actually pretty decent traits for this guy. It would have been nice to, for him to have outside foot shot trait. Yeah, anyway, let's get into the clips now. I was starting the first, uh, I think, five games with the Marksman Chem style, which keeps him lengthy. And I did find him not be as good as uh, when I applied the finisher Chem style to him. Yeah, I was playing the 4-3-2-1 formation. As I said, five games lengthy. And then the rest of the games, I did play finisher. The clips you're seeing is pretty much like nine games, I think. You'll see exactly when I apply the fi uh, finisher Chem style, though. I think it's about two minutes into the gameplay. Getting into his pros, his pace is definitely his first one. He feels absolutely ridiculously quick in game. I don't know what they've done to Darwin Nunes. Obviously, post patch they've made uh, you know explosive players better, but with control he just feels so much quicker. I, I'm not entirely sure whether control players have got better. I know explosive players have got better, but I'm pretty sure explosive and control players have both got you know faster. I think it's to do with their dribbling on the ball. And yeah, he just feels absolutely rapid in game now, much quicker with this chem style compared to the marksman chem style. But yeah, his pace he feels you know, mentally quick in game combined with his strength. He feels like what the far, one of the fastest players I've used in FIFA so far. Uh, finishing, he's, his finishing is absolutely insane. It's actually pretty decent on his left foot as well. Don't be discouraged by his, you know, four, uh, three start weak foot. He actually does finish quite a lot on his left foot and I think that's down to shot power. And that's why I did find with the other cards as well. But yeah, he, he definitely feels a bit more consistent with this card. It more feels like a three and a half star. Obviously there's some cases where you know, it, it doesn't quite go, you know, into the bottom corners. It, but sometimes it can just, you know, have enough power to get past the keeper, even if it's not, you know, really accurate into one of the corners. Uh, so, yeah, that would definitely be a pro. And then his shot power, obviously, is his next pro. Um, as I just said, his shot power is crazy in game. And uh, heading would be his next one, jumping and heading. I just find to be really good with this guy. It's not, you know, top tier, but you can definitely you know, out jumps a few defenders. Uh, from corners, uh, you won't see many in the clips, but. Uh, as I only got it from the first nine games. Smolarek was always in the corner for me, but when I took him out of the team for a bit, uh, Nunes was the guy in the box for me in, in that prime position, and he was winning a lot of headers and actually scored a few headers for me, which was really nice. So he can definitely score a header from a corner. Overall, he just feels like an amazing striker, amazing powerhouse striker. Getting into his cons, one of the cons was his high, high work rates before. I don't think that's really a con anymore. I'm not sure why, he just always felt like he was in the right position now, which is really nice. And then I wouldn't even say his three-star weak friends, three-star skirmish is much of a con. Uh, I'd probably put down his three-star skill moves as a con, but his weak foot for me didn't feel like a massive con. So every player I've reviewed who's had three-star skill moves, I've put that down as a con. But for this Nunes card, I don't really think it's that like a con. I just think it's, you know, it, it could be better, but it's not, you know, I didn't really care about it. But the three-star skill moves was a little bit of an issue. Uh, I would love, it, love him to have four-star skill moves. Just there's a couple of skill moves I love doing with players, which I think would be really effective with Nunes. And it's unfortunate I couldn't do that. I just had to rely on him, you know, powering through. And obviously he was able to easily do that. So again, 
it's not much of a con, but I'm gonna put the skip three star skill moves down as a small con, especially being a bit of a skiller like myself. So if you're not into skill moves, then happy days. But yeah, getting into his actual cons, the two I found were his long shots and his long passing. So anything long range, he didn't feel you know top tier with. He can still you know score a long shot and he can still do a long pass. But I just found them to be a little bit inaccurate at times. I think I had a few long shots with him. I didn't actually don't think I even really scored a long shot with him, but um, I'm sure you probably can. I think his long shot was 79, so they're not you know, crazy, but then his shot power might be able to carry them through. And then his long passing is only 65, and I did actually kind of feel that in game. His short passing, on the other hand, felt really nice. I'd probably give that around an 80, um, low 80s. But yeah, his long passing felt, you know, it didn't feel 65. It definitely felt higher than that, but it just wasn't, you know, great, and it was still uh, probably a con. And then, uh, obviously, his strength is his other pro that I forgot to mention. His strength is incredible in this FIFA. Obviously, I did touch on it a little bit earlier. But yeah, his strength combined with that amazing pace, he literally just out muscles every player that I've uh, defended or played against. And he's actually been probably the best card I've used this FIFA, which is crazy because usually the players I love in this game have, you know, five star skill moves. And then, so for this card to be the best card for me is crazy. And yeah, I just absolutely loved him. Fun fact to give him a 9.5 just because he's made FIFA fun for me again. And I've been really enjoying this guy. He's the first guy I've used that I put into review and he's just stayed in my team. I actually can't get rid of him from my team just because he's so good. For that reason, he's got to have, you know, a fun fact of 9.5. Value for coins 9.5 just because at the time of recording, he is right around that 205, 210k price range at the moment. I think he's going to go up. As soon as he gets 87, he's going to be even more of a monster. I mean, if, I feel like you can't really get, this card can't get better, but I feel like his dribbling might be able to get a little better, even though I found his dribbling to be really nice in game. A massive improvement from his uh, 84 card. That was actually a con on the last one. So yeah, getting an 83 dribbling upgrade, it feels you know right around 86 in game, which is really nice. I found I can actually dribble past plays with this card, whereas the last one I couldn't. And I think that makes a massive impact in game. Overall rating, I have given him a 9.4, which is the highest rating I've given any card on this game. I'm not someone who gives these ratings easily. Most players will get around 8s, 8.5s to 9s. So 9.4 is a really high rating for him. If he had four star skill moves, maybe four four star weak foot, he'd be pushing 9.6. But yeah, 9.4, the highest I've given, I gave smaller record 9.2. So yeah, this guy's gonna get slightly higher than him. And yeah, the highest record I've given in FIFA 23 so far. So he has, he has been my favorite player to use so far. And uh, yeah, I think that's a, that's a massive statement for Darwin Nunes is 86. And I can't wait for him to get an upgrade to that 87 when Uruguay do win their first game. What the card felt like, I'm gonna give you two. I'm gonna give you what his lengthy card felt like from the five games I used them in. And then I'm gonna give you what his control card felt like that I've used in the, the next, I think, what, 15 games uh, or 16 games. So his lengthy card feel uh, 94 pace, 84 dribbling, 88 shooting, 80 passing, and 92 physical. And then his control card felt exactly the same as that. Just four more pace, which is 98 pace. Uh, and then 86 dribbling, which is two more dribbling. So from his ones to watch card, we're gonna go off the controlled card. He's gone up five pace, so 93 to 98. And then he's gone up three dribbling from 83 to 86. And then shooting, he's gone up two from 86 to 88. And then passing, he's gone up six from 74 to 80. And then his physical has gone up from 90 to 92. So this card, this is card like in game. If this card was on the market, it would be like 10 mil. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, so yeah, and that's, that's how he felt in game. He felt like an absolute monster. So yeah, I highly recommend picking him up before you know everyone jumps on the bandwagon and realizes how good this guy is. And when he gets the 87 upgrade, he's gonna be unstoppable. Everyone's using Al Awaran at the moment just because he's got 99 pace on card. This guy, I've, I've used Al Awaran and this guy feels just as quick, maybe like one point less. Like Al, Al Awaran does feel 99 pace, but this guy, I think, uh, yeah, this he's a real contender for the best player in FIFA that, well, that I've used so far. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this Darwin Nunes player review. I definitely enjoyed using him a lot. And don't forget to let me know which player you'd like me to review next. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And the bell notification to get notified when my videos go live. And I'll catch you next one.